Zotac Gaming Force RTX 2060 Super Mini Opinion. The overall performance of the Zotac Gaming Force RTX 2060 Super Mini is very good indeed. It surpassed all of my expectations and easily beats the previous RTX 2060 by quite a bit. This is all thanks to the increased number of CUDA cores, a total of 2176, as well as a GPU running at a boost speed 1650 mhz, default is core speed is at 1470 mhz. To add to this, you also get larger memory capacity of 8GB of GDDR6 RAM running on a 256-bit memory bus, giving you a total bandwidth of 448 megabits per second. During our benchmark tests, it produced excellent scores which included a Port Royal score of 4927, with a DLSS, on, test score of 33.58 FPS. For times P and Fire Strike, we got a score of 8505 and 19082 respectively. Final Fantasy XV score was also very good at 9042. This card is a mini edition, so you don't get the Power Boost or Spectre 2.0 lighting, as found on their higher end models but you do get the Ice Storm 2.0 cooling and Firestorm utility for overclocking. I didn't overclock the card, as we didn't see a need to. But if you want to, you can use the Firestorm software to overclock your card even further. It should reach above 1800 MHZ+. But be warned. Please be very careful. Any overclocking is done at your own risk. We recorded a load temperatures of around 72 degrees Celsius which is a pretty high, but the Zotac Ice Storm 2.0 cooling along with the dual fans and metal wraparound backplate, handled it pretty well. We recommend a minimum power supply of 550 watts, as power consumption of this card is rated at 175 watts, which is identical to the original RTX 2070. So that got me thinking, could this be a rebrand of the RTX 2070? It does have similar number of CUDA cores, same amount of 8GB GDDR6 RAM in the same 256-bit memory bus. Anyway, it's just a little food for thought. As we all know, the RTX 2060 Super does not support SLI, so you won't find an NVLink connector on this card. But if you are after SLI, you'll need to get the next model up, the RTX 2070 Super. Priced around USD $399, the Zotac Gaming Force RTX 2060 Super Mini is definitely worth a look. It offers very good performance and features NVIDIA's Turing architecture, supports ray tracing and furthermore, it now comes with more CUDA cores and 256 bit of 8GB GDDR6 RAM. Pros Compact and mini size Force RTX 2060 Super Very good performance 2176 CUDA cores 256 bit memory bus 8GB GDDR6 memory Firestorm software Cons Uses NVIDIA's stock speeds no RGB. If you want a custom Force RTX 2060 Super that's compact in size, offers very good performance at stock speeds, then the Zotac Gaming Force RTX 2060 Super Mini is worth considering. You don't get RGB, but you do get all the benefits from NVIDIA's Super Series refresh of their original RTX 2060.